Hello and welcome. Today we're reviewing a scrim match from the perspective of the red side. I've never seen this VOD before, so I'll be commenting in real time. So let's get into it. Ah, uh, pela esquerda. Let's turn the volume down uh, a bit. Gramil, come on the mouse. Okay. All right. Ah, eu acho que vocês têm que falar isso para gorrar, né? Quero, eu quero que vocês joguem tendo. Okay, so just right off the bat, I like that your team is spread out uh, between main and that top side. So this is good. Okay, so it looks like you got Winston Road Lucio up here. And where is your McCree? So I, I saw them here. Let me change colors. Over here. Ah, darn it. Sorry. Let me move my mouse pad. Uh, over here. Uh, and then I saw your Mercy and, and Far up here. I'm not quite sure where your McCree is. So let's keep an eye out for that. I assume então, he's with them, with the, with the Lucio group. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Let me see that again. Is it their win oh, their Winston just did a silly dive. Oh, why would he do that? Okay, yeah. I'm glad that wasn't your Winston. Oh, you don't have a Oh, you do have Winston. Okay, good. Nice. In case you guys collapse on him, that was good. Okay, now, I do have a bit of a problem with this dive from your from your Winston, which I think is actually the person who submitted the VOD. Um, and, and also, a tip for your observer. Uh, please turn on your health bars. Obviously, you have the health bars the the health bars up here in the UI but it's nice to see them on the characters themselves as well. Okay, uh yeah, so I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this dive as we can't quite see actually can we see? Is there a I don't see any movement. So, I imagine that your Mercy and and, and Farah are up here somewhere in this general area, right? Like to the right of this camera. And I I'm not sure if they have line of sight yet. So, it, it would have been nice to wait for everyone to kind of get into position so again this dive from Winston is not is not is not necessarily good it's not the worst thing in the world but after a pick you typically want to wait just a few moments to, to you know heal up get cooldowns back um you know oh there I see your I see your mercy on the right um you wait for people to get in position etc so let's see how this how this works out <laughs> and you actually get booped off that's actually good for you that you got booped off you, you probably wanted to fall in the first place <laughs> Okay, now I don't mind. Well, okay. Here's the thing: is that this dive again? Okay, yeah, this is actually bad. It's it's not it's not horrible, but it's not it's not good. The, for two reasons. Well, actually, well, yeah, for two reasons. Uh, the first is you don't have bubble. You would just use bubble, so your bubble's probably down for another few seconds. And look at this line of sight. No one can help you except for Farah. Is this your McCree right here? Yeah, McCree can't help you. Road can't help you. Lucio can't help you. So like, you know, X is here. Um, the only person who can help you is Far, who's over here somewhere. Um, and then I guess you could also argue Mercy because she's probably, you know, left and right clicking her. Um, so yeah, this dive isn't that great. Um, that being said, do you back off? Yeah, you, you back off more or less instantly, which is good. Let me see this a little bit. Well, no, you're pretty aggressive with this dive. This is a very aggressive dive. No, but to be fair to you, you do kind of back off a bit. But this is pretty dangerous. And actually, look at your health. Look at this. Yeah, that, that's really dangerous. So, so try to recognize that as a Winston. You didn't have bubble, and your team couldn't really follow up that dive with you. So very dangerous. Both of them, actually. Um, yeah. Thank you, Agohal. And just to clarify, actually, for the first one, the reason was different. The reason was just that you want to give your team... So for the first dive, you want to give your team a few more seconds to set up. Second dive... Um, and actually, sorry, going back to that first dive, there's a good chance your opponents were actually just going to back off and run away, and they were just going to let you get the point. And, then, and that's it. You, you don't have to do anything. Um, but if they do you know, push the issue, then, yeah, you can follow up and dive and do things. Um, but again, you need to wait a few seconds to let your team mates... Um, get into position, etc. And for the second dive, it was because you didn't have bubble and your teammates couldn't follow up. Okay. Yeah, they couldn't follow up. Sorry, just to be extra clear, they couldn't follow up because the opponents had fallen back out of line of sight. Okay. Let's go, let's go back a bit. All right, that's enough about that. Okay. So this dive, not so bad. Uh, and you had the mercy with you. That was actually fine. Let me let me see that one more time. I'm thinking I'm giving Winston too much too much of my focus. Actually, no. If you, if we look at this dive, you started off this dive with like 33% health, um, and you had just used bubble again. Let me see that. 
Vem cá, go hall. Olha o ponto. Olha a fara, a fara tá fora. Oh, and you also used your bubble too early, so it fell on the ground. So mechanically, that's a pretty big error. And it was also just a bit dangerous. I, I don't understand what uh, I don't understand what you guys are saying, but I hope that you went as you were starting that dive. I hope that you were telling Mercy that you needed heals because if if she was busy healing someone else, then you almost certainly would just die. Especially if your opponents were like much better, right? Because they would just punish you for this kind of mistake instantly. All, all of these dives so far have been pretty um, dubious at best. Pega o ponto, pega o ponto. O Lúcio está aqui no ponto. Good, so I'm glad you guys started to collapse. This is good. This is what you need to do. Collapse on onto the point. So right now, I don't like that your far is split. Okay, so let, let's kind of break this down. You guys started, started off this fight with a pick, and then from there, you should have been able to snowball a nice lead, get positional advantage, etc. Once they started to contest the point, it was probably like around, let's go back. Okay, so right now, roughly around this time period, the points unlocked, you guys almost have the point. Oh, actually, sorry, they almost have the point. And it's, it's time to start to start collapsing onto the point. Uh, because obviously you don't want to give, give it up, especially since you, this, point is basically yours you guys deserve this because you guys had won the initial pick uh so let, let's kind of break this down yeah so right now i'm gonna actually i'm gonna mute this right now is the time where we need everyone to start collapsing you just killed that baby uh, sorry that mech and now it's time to collapse onto the diva let's see if you actually kill her you got the lucy on the point yeah so it, it kind of feels like Far, Mercy, and Winston, I kind of have to call those three players out because they were kind of too focused. Well, I can't blame Mer Mercy too much, but it seems like you guys were too focused on on this fight out here. But because of, you know, given this, this situation, you guys had a really easy opportunity to just collapse onto the point, kill the Baby Diva, kill the Lucio, kill the uh, Tracer, at, or at least get them off the point. Because, again, you guys... This was rightfully your fight to win. So let's see what happens. Yeah, you guys are just split. And as a team, you need to be, you know, on the same page. Okay, looks like it works out. Unfortunate, though, that you had to use Barrage there. That's actually not great that you had to use Barrage to secure that fight. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you did. I think that's, that's perfectly fine. But a better team would have gotten the point and have that Barrage for the next fight. And it, and it comes down to collapsing, right? That was a perfect opportunity to say, "Hey guys, we won this fight already. Let's just let's be let's be done with this fight. Let's collapse." Instead, you guys kind of split your attention and were fighting on two fronts, which you didn't have to be. You could have just collapsed and just won that fight pretty much instantly. So a missed opportunity there. Okay, uh, let me go back and see that. Okay, so it looks like we kind of missed this, but it looks like a good boot from the primal rage. Um, yeah, and this area is great for primal rages from Winston, so I'm glad that you took that you took advantage of that. You guys smashed them. Nice job, nice job. Yeah, there's certain parts on certain on certain maps that are just excellent for Winston primal rages. You can use them very liberally. All right, so looks like we're just waiting. What are they doing? Really? Wow, a little bit too much respect. Actually, I'd call that fear. It's, that's not good from the opponents. Okay. They're going this left side. Okay. Uh, let's look at that again. And then was that your Lucio who just jumped up there? So, no, this is fine. No, um, no actually, I'm generally happy with the positioning here. I think this is okay. I don't see anything that's horrible. Um, nice. Okay, again, what we're seeing from, from Winston is a dive right after a pick. Um, where's your McCree? See, this puts your McCree in a really sucky situation because he can't do anything. Um, even Roadhog is, is having, you know, trouble kind of following this up. He's going to have to come around. So, so why do I bring this up? Um... I don't mind I don't mind this aggression 
especially after a pick. But again, I want you to be a little bit more patient with these follow-ups. When you get a pick, follow it up a little bit more carefully. Wait for everyone to get in position, then you can go. Especially since, again, you, you, already, you already used your bubble. So again, you're diving again without your bubble. And, you know, a really good team... When you dive like that as Winston, you're going to get, you know, flashbanged. You're going to get discorded. You're going to get, you know, I can list off a million abilities that a team will just kill you instantly, especially since you don't have a D.Va. Um, so right now, it just kind of feels like you're taking advantage of the team just not playing very well. Another barrage. Nice, nice. Oh, nice hook again from the Roadhog. This, this just feels like cleanup. I'm, just, I'm gonna skip ahead to the next round because I don't have too much more time to work on this VOD. Oh, you guys lost a fight. Okay, actually, you know what? Let, let's keep watching this then. Let's see how you lose this. Maybe I'll just finish this round. Okay, so you guys won this fight. Okay. Okay, so you guys are spread out. I like this defense. Um, looks like you're trying to read where they're going. You're gonna react accordingly. Um, okay, so this Winston goes for this dive here. This dive, actually, I don't think it's necessary. Let's watch it again. Hmm. And what are they running? I think with something like this, you're actually okay. Let's see. Who is this character? Who is that? I need to see what you saw. Is that Lucia? Okay, it's Lucia. Okay. So, right here, when you do this dive... Whoa, what's going on? Uh, my computer. No. Okay, sorry. Right here, when you do this dive, not exactly warranted. You could actually just poke with this, poke this diva and this Lucio, and then depending on what happens, you can either dive away, or sorry, jump away to safety, or then um, jump more aggressively into a certain position if you notice something. Um, notice how with your composition, you don't have any follow up with your dive. You have you have no one, and I have, actually haven't mentioned that yet in this in this vod. Um, but you don't have a Tracer, a Genji, a Diva, nothing to realistically follow up with you except for maybe Lucio. I mean, yeah, like that kind of makes sense. Um, Farah is obviously, you know, everyone's going to be trying to help you with the dive, but no one can join you physically, right? So it's one of those things you have to be careful of. Let's see. So you go in. Who are you on? Is that Mercy? That's a good target to be on. And they just kind of ignore you. See, what a good team is going to do when you do this dive right here a good team is going to be like monkey just shifted kill him and literally you got soldier let's see let's kind of break this down diva lucio Mer uh soldier and mercy can all focus you and obviously mercy could either bust out a pistol or just blue beam soldier over here uh winston's not quite into position yet um but he, he could have been you actually didn't know you dove in for all you know he could have been right here and just ready to, to jump on you uh, i'm not quite sure who is who this is who is it Tracer. Uh, again, Tracer. This Tracer over here could have been waiting over here or like, you know, could, could have gone from this way. So really, really dangerous. Um, better, again, like we talked about, for you to just stay over here, stay in this general area. Use the line of sight to block, poke, trade that way, and then you either dive away or you dive in. Or, or you just don't dive at all. I keep saying dive. I should be, I should be saying jump. Sorry. All right. So then what happens? Oh, I can't see anything. Okay, so then you dive back in. And the Winston kills. So then there's that dive. They get onto your McCree. Can't quite see what happens here. And actually, let's look at the ults. You guys had... You have you had four, and you're about to get your primal. They have th five. Okay, so ults about even. They had a... They had an edge on you. Although, eh, no, actually not really. It's about, it was five to five, basically five to five. Okay, um, so we can't quite attribute it to that because we know that you lose this fight. Their, their mercy gets in, they got the Valkyrie. Actually, that's a pretty big problem. Um, in my opinion, you probably, if you were gonna open up with the support ultimate here, I would have preferred to see the Valkyrie. Uh, ever since, um, well, I'll just say this. The latest version of Valkyrie, really, really strong to start off fights with. Um, Mercy is just a terror to deal with. 
especially on this map uh, on the point she she has like this ceiling over here that she can kind of hide and 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 jump around or you know like run around that little pillar and and the ceiling too um like this roof thing to like cover her from people that are over here um and you know res obviously you get two reses so open up, opening up with uh sound barrier here is pretty useless if you had opened up with valkyrie and then later used this uh this sound barrier this this probably would have gone way better um cuz your defense actually wasn't that bad uh, I think it was positionally was set up pretty well, except the Winston diving. I didn't really like that. And where's your McCree set up? Let me see over there. McCree's just kind of on the point, it looks like. Can't quite tell. Yeah, he's on the point. Um, yeah, he's fine. Especially if he, if he had a Valkyrie uh, instead of the sound barrier. Definitely, almost always as a rule, you could probably almost always use Valkyrie first over sound barrier. It's just, it's so good. Um... And again, you can use it liberally. Like, you can use it as the fights are starting. And that alone can, like, win a fight and force ultimates from the other team, too. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I need to say about that. So, let's kind of see how this unfolds. It just looks like a sloppy fight. Or not sloppy, just a fight. Let's just call it a fight. Yeah, and, and quality's not so great, and observing isn't exactly stellar, so I can't quite tell um, what is happening go back oh so much stuff okay uh I, yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this at this point um actually now nah, let's not be lazy L let's look at what happens because maybe there's more i can i can look for <sighs> okay so what else what else went wrong okay so then you go in and actually notice how how their uh actually yeah notice how their team they did the valkyrie first and then the sound barrier um and let's look at how your how your well, to be fair, your McCree almost certainly does not die if your Mercy pops Valkyrie. Let's see. wait. Well, actually, why isn't your Mercy using Valkyrie now? Like, what, what's the what's the deal? And no res? Did I did I miss a res? There's Roadhog. Did she res earlier? Okay, so yeah, it seems like there's maybe some. Pro okay, so then, okay, there's a second res on the far. But again, you could have res that McCree though. So that that was huge. Actually, and you had the primal. To be honest, if you res this McCree, right? I'm not. I'm not missing anything, right? No, you don't. You don't res the McCree. If you res this McCree, that alone actually could have been enough to maybe win this fight as well. Yeah. Anything else? You're running the. How's your? Okay. It also let, let's turn the well actually I'm not gonna be able to understand so never mind I was gonna say let's turn on the comms but um I'm trying to see if I can tell if you guys are like focus focus firing but it's kind of hard to tell with this angle so yeah I think I'm gonna cut this short um so definitely Winston play work on some of the things we talked about in terms of when to go in it feels like you're one of those Winstons that just kind of is like go 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 and just constantly just jumping when when it's on cool when it's off cooldown um. So that's not great. Uh, what else did we talk about? Valkyrie before sound barrier, almost always. Um, Valkyrie is just crazy strong right now. What else? Uh, I forgot what else we talked about, but m you know, maybe go back and, and you can rewatch this to, to go and see what we talked about. Um, but overall, it, it kind of felt like you were just beating your opponents. Um, they were doing some really silly things. Um just overall so it felt like you were punishing them until this last fight which again you probably could have just won if you had just used valkyrie first like battle i can't stress enough how important that that could have just changed the fight um yeah so i think i'll I think that's enough repeating uh yeah so i'll i will cut this at this point um if you like the video please like it and please subscribe thank you